Hello and welcome to part 20 of the Johnny Blender 3 series. I apologize this one took a little longer to to, to bring out for all you YouTube fans than I expected, uh, but uh, here we are. Better late than never, right? So, um, anyways, um, let me tell you what, let me get my display going on here. Apologize, like I said, it's been <laughs> it's been a little while since I did this. There we go, I got the everything playing there. Okay. Now, um, front view, there we go. Okay, what I'm going to do in this lesson, is we're going to go over um, po the pose library. And that's right here. If you go to your, if you have your, your armature selected and you go to the bone, or actually the uh, object data tab for your rig, scroll down, you'll see a pose library right there. And there's nothing in it when you start off. That's because you have to add things to it. So what the pose library is, is just that. It's a library of poses that will help you do shortcuts for when you go to start animating. So the first thing I like to do uh, when I create poses for the pose library is to create uh, the shapes of the face for when, for when the actor, which here is Johnny, when he's talking. So we're going to make some f what are called phonemes, the shapes that the mouth makes when it's speaking. So let's go to up here and turn off all the layers except for the face controls right there. So, okay. So now we're going to come down here. We're going to say new pose library. And let's uh, just start off with a just a smile. Like so. Maybe a little bit of a cocky chin. And maybe he's showing a little bit of teeth there. Not too much. Just a kind of a... A friendly smile, not he's not crazy grinning or anything. So there we go. Get back up there, and we'll select all of these guys. And now we're gonna hit Control L. Actually, that's that's okay. That's later on. Shift L. We're gonna Shift L brings up your little thing here and says Add new, add pose to our pose library, which is named Pose Lib, as you can see over here. Pose Lib. So Shift L, adds new, boom. And it adds it in there and it brings up the little dialog over here, names it, and we'll just say friendly I spell it correctly, friendly smile. And you know what? Let's go at the very beginning and uh just put uh, F for face. F space and then friendly smile. Because later on we can use the same pose library or we can create another one. Actually, yeah, let's do that. We'll create a second one later on for the actual body poses. So we'll call this one facial expressions okay and we'll go ahead and take that F out of here right over here there we go okay so friendly smile okay now let's create just a default blank expression just select all those alt G and maybe kinda maybe it's just kinda frowning a little bit maybe his eyes are closed down just a little he's kinda bored and Kind of disinterested, so we'll select all those. Shift L, add a new pose, and you can, it brings up a few more options this time since we have one in the library already. When we hit Shift L now, we can add a new one, or we can add a new current frame. I'm not exactly 100% sure what this one does. I think it just if you're okay. Let me go through this, and I'll kind of explain how this pose library works. So you can add a new one, or you can replace one that's already there which the only one we have there is friendly smile so you could add a new one or replace friendly smile so we'll just go ahead and add a new one and we'll name this one board okay now like I said I'll kinda explain how this works what it does we separate our window here we're gonna go into what's called the dope sheet and the dope sheet is I don't know the etymology of the word dope sheet but uh, it kinda just keeps a track of everything that you have animated with keyframes and keyframes are basically in animation it's point A and point B and point C D E and all, any point that the animation changes like if you have where your your hand is on your lap and you want to put it up to your face point A would be lap and point B would be face and the, those would also be keyframes because you're moving from point A to point B you're moving from the lap to the face so that's basically what keyframes are. Now the dope sheet, it kind of just anything you have animated, 
like for the the rig, it kind of shows you that the rig has keyframes, and at this point we don't have any. Uh, but if we did, it would show that the rig has keyframes. Now, if you want it, as far as a rig goes, it has individual bones that are going to be animated. We would go to the action editor, and then it would have each individual bones and their keyframes. So, told you all that to tell you this: in our action editor, when we created these pose, this pose library, it created a action set right there. And it puts a keyframe, if we zoom in here, it puts a keyframe for all the bones. And when I first started using this pose library a while back, I, I thought it only inserted keyframes with the selected bones that you've selected, but apparently it does every bone in the set. So, um, okay, so maybe when you apply it it only puts it on the selected bones. I don't know, we'll, we'll play with that when we get to it. But anyways, so we have two separate actions, two separate poses here, and basically it's just making an, an action set of keyframes of those poses. So there's our smile, and there's our board. So anyways, that's kinda how it stores the information. So let's go ahead and just collapse that back. And let's continue on with the rest of our expressions. There's roughly eight to ten basic movements that, or basic poses that your your face makes when your or your mouth, I guess, your eyebrows and things can always be in different emotions and different expressions. But uh, for forming words, you you basically use eight to ten different shapes, and in animation, we can kind of get away with a little bit of sh a few shortcuts. We don't have to form each and every word if we animate smoothly enough it, we can kinda of fake it and make it look like he's saying it even though he's not forming each and every sound so uh, we'll just go over a few of the the basic basic shapes and some of those are uh, the M shape which is can be M B P anything where your lips come together when you when you say something like uh, mmm you know like gum or B or gap you know anything that you have to use your lips together for and so we'll leave those together I'm going to go ahead and put a frown in here a little bit maybe bring the jaw down some actually leave those lips the way they are okay okay so we'll select all these but like I said I don't think it matters which selected and we'll go shift L add new pose and we'll name this one M M M M so mmm I guess we could also add on B actually just just name it M B P okay so now we got that one let's make another one where it's kind of a aw shape where he's got his mouth open jaw down let's circle around here bottom lip going down a little too far okay so that could be a uh, sound. So let's grab all those. Shift L, add new, and we'll say, hmm, uh, I guess U H H. Uh, okay. And now, kind of the almost the same, same pose. Just move the jaw up a little bit and kind of make bring him where he's almost smiling. And now, this will be an E shape. Go in here. There we go. Okay. And now let's see if we can get like a ooh. Some of these you might have to go back into your your shape keys on your face and kind of make some new shapes like for example we don't have a ooh shape. We don't have the O shape of the lips. I don't think do we? Let's let me check. No, we didn't. But uh, we could easily make one. Let's do that real quick. Let's tab into edit mode. Actually, we do. Where is it at? Lips pooch. Okay. Now, what bone is controlling that? Let me split this up and go to our graph editor. And it was the drivers. So, lips pooch. Which bone is controlling that? It's going to be the top lip on the scale. So, okay. 
Grab that top lip and scale it. There we go. Now we can do a ooh shape. Okay. I'm a little rusty with uh, Johnny here. It's <laughs> like I said, it's it's been a while since I worked on the series, so. Okay, so there we go. Ooh shape. And I'm gonna go shift L, add new. Ooh, there we go. And hmm, what else we got? It could be a, a an F shape. Clear all these guys. Where the bottom lip kind of goes in, but I don't think we created a key for that. So we'll just kind of make a generic shape here that can kind of cover quite a few sounds. And we'll say this could be ch, ch, could be s, could be k, d, l, n, pretty much any other. We'll just put miscellaneous there. It could be, this is where I was talking about where you can kind of cheat. You can get away with not showing the tongue, forming the n, t, l, you know, all those sounds. If you kind of just hide the tongue, you don't have to show it moving. So, um, Or, you know, if you want to get really detailed with your, your lip syncing, you can go in there and animate the tongue if you like. But uh, for the expedient sake of this tutorial, I won't... Uh, I won't get into that amount of detail. So, okay. Now let's uh, let's create a couple of. I thought I renamed that. There we go. Face library. Okay. Um. So we got basically all the sound effects that the mouth will make. Let's uh, clear all those out. And. Let's make him blink. So we'll grab these guys all the way up, all the way up, all the way down. Okay, and we'll shift L, add new, and we'll say blink. Okay. So that's basically all of the generic poses that we need to give him a nice facial animation. And you can kind of see. Uh, we can go through all the different facial shapes here because we have that face oh I renamed it in the wrong spot <laughs> face library what's going on it's gonna let me rename that Hmm. Well, let me rename it. Oh well. We don't really need to know the names. Just we can go by what it looks like on screen as well later on. So let's go back to our dope sheet. And now you can see, since we're there's not a lot of difference between the dope sheet and the action editor. Actually, the action editor I think is only for keyframes, whereas the dope sheet kind of shows you. Uh, you know what is being keyframed on that particular object like see here we have keyframes for the location scale and and uh, rotation and everything but anyways let's go back to our action editor and let's create a new action let's go ahead and X that out so it clears it all out and say new and we're just gonna say face movement okay now we're going to get into a little bit of animation with our pose library. Okay, so let's grab everything in Alt G and Alt S. Okay, and that clears out any locations and any uh, scaling. So now let's back up all the way to frame zero and let's turn on our automatic keyframe insertion. And say we have an audio clip. Um, I'm not going to load one in here right now to show you how to do it or how to animate these the facial expressions. Say you want him to be like, ooh, and then smile. So we'll have him with this board expression and control L, what I hit. Actually, let me just select all these guys. Control L, and you can 
roll your mouse wheel up and down or page up and down page up page down on your keyboard also does it and let's find that board expression and you can kinda see the name of or you can't kinda you can definitely see the name of the expression or the, the name of the pose right there so you can just scroll through and keep an eye on there and it's like well that one looks like it but oh that's the MVP one so scroll one more and there it is the board and then you just click and it inserts uh, well it should insert a keyframe since we have that. Let's turn this to AV Sync. Control L. Okay. This seems kinda wishy washy on that. Sometimes it'll insert a keyframe, sometimes it won't. Let me see if that'll help. No. Okay, so I guess what we can do just uh, find our keyframe or our expression we want, and then uh, hit I on your keyboard to insert a keyframe, and then we'll say location and scale. So there we go, and you can see it puts a yellow line there. That means that frame, excuse me, has uh, keyframes on it. So he's kind of bored, and maybe we'll come up here to frame 13, and we'll just go through and find that blinking one right there. Go ahead and click that one and go ahead and insert a keyframe again up here. Like I said, it should automatically insert them. I don't know why it's not, but uh, anyway, so let's. So uh, if we uh, leave that keyframe right there, he's going to go, he's going to blink from frame 0 all the way up to 13. And we don't really want him to be blinking slowly like that. So let's go up to frame 11 and we're going to see. Alt G and go ahead and click and then it since we actually did something in the scene it went ahead and inserted a keyframe but oddly when you insert a from the pose library it doesn't I don't know maybe I'm missing something but uh, if you know the answer please feel free to comment because <laughs> it's been confusing a bit for me so anyways so let's uh, go up to frame 18 and we're gonna clear out that location again there we go Again, and inserted a keyframe. So now let's go to frame 30 and control L and scroll through and find this MVP one will be fine. Maybe kind of frowns a little bit. And then frame 38, control L, find that big smile. There we go, friendly smile. And insert location rotation, location scale. So, okay, so now. We just animated a decent facial expression by using our pose library. So you can see how easy that is to use and how it can be easily used to do some awesome lip syncing where you can be like, hello, and you can just, you know, insert this pose at wherever it needs to go. So uh, we'll probably get into lip syncing a little bit later on in the series, um, but I think for now, I'm not sure what my time limit is because I didn't set a, a clock this time, but um, I'm going to go ahead and save this, and we'll call part 20 done. And in the next part, uh, we might get into we might extend the pose library information and get into some body poses and things like that. Even though it pretty much covers the same material, but uh, uh, maybe we'll get into a little bit more animation as well. So. Thanks for watching. That's going to be all for part 20, and I will see you in part 21.